Hey guys, so this time I'm coming back with the English version of how to build OpenAI projects. This time we're going to be building a clone of a ChatGPT and we're going to be building two versions of it. The first one is going to be a casual um, chatbot where you can have a um, just casual conversation like ChatGPT. And the second version is um, a chatbot where we can have a conversation with a specific document that you upload. So um, this this use case would be more fit towards like a customer service agent where it answers questions about your product. So we're going to be building two versions of that. And this time, like it's extremely easy. This can literally be done in like 10 minutes. Um, I'm hoping I can put this video uh, less than 20 minutes, but we'll see how it goes. So um, I've opened up VS Code here and you're going to open up a new file and a uh, new folder. I'm going to name it um, chatbot test and then open it up. Uh, we're going to make a virtual environment because we need that in order to run Python files. So open up a new terminal here and then um, you're going to write in the command line Python 3-mv and vvemv. Now we're going to activate that virtual environment that has been just made right now. So the command line is source vmv bin activate. And then inside here, uh, this is my GitHub repository, by the way, all the code is public. So if you want to just clone it, I'll be sharing the link with you down below. Um, you're going to have to install some necessary packages that is uh, shown here. So I'm going to install pip3, install openai, langchain, python.env, tick token, cpu, and streamlit. So the packages are being downloaded here. And then we're going to create a new Python file called chatbot.py, which will be the, uh, the first version, which is like the casual conversation chatbot. All right, so we're going to be using the um, Langchain documentation. They have extremely nice um, documentations on Langchain. And I'm just gonna show you here in this video as a practice, like how easy it is to combine um, the code that is provided to you by Langchain with other like uh, web interface uh, front end code packages like Streamlit or other languages like Next.js or React. So today we're going to be using the back end logic from Langchain and then the front end is going to be shown with uh, Streamlit because they have a really nice um, they have a really nice code package to show to create the uh, chat interface. So we're going to go all the way down to the section where it says uh, where it says conversation. So um, this is the code block that we're going to be utilizing. So I'm just going to go and copy this part. Again, it's within the conversation section. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it here. So this is now immediately pasted and you can see that there's some errors that is showing up. Chap open AI and conversation buffer memory is not being imported. So I'm going to yeah, import these guys so that it no longer shows an error. And then I also have to bring import the chat open AI module. So I'm going to copy this part and then paste it here. All right. So we're now good to go. Um, So to just sort of explain what this code is doing right now, um, it first uses a OpenAI LLM. So I've set up the LLM here and then I'm using a custom prompt um, to sort of define how the chatbot should respond like. So right now the prompt is like, you're a nice chatbot having a conversation with a human. Now, if you want the chatbot to respond like, for example, a pirate, then you can say that um, you're a nice chatbot that responds like a pirate, blah, blah, blah. Um, so you can always just uh, just edit like the, the custom prompt variable to whatever you want. Um, an interesting thing that here is that uh, it has a chat history variable, which means that this chatbot is going to save all the history, chat history that uh, you had with the LLM agent so that each time a user asks a new question, it can retrieve from, 
it memorizes all the chat history. So it responds on behalf of the context that is within the chat. So we've created a memory variable here, like so. Uh, we're using the conversation buffer memory um, function and we've put inside the chat history. So it's gonna memorize all the chat history that the user has with the LLM chain. Now, in order to run this chatbot, uh, we've built a, a variable called conversation chain where we've initialized and set up the LLM chain. And then to run it, to execute it, um, the user input is gonna be within this variable. So anytime you say, hi, what's up? Uh, how are you feeling? It's gonna answer and execute the LLM chain. So let's just try and executing this code and see what really happens in the backend. So save this file and then I'm going to clear the terminal. And in order to run Python files, you're gonna to have to do Python3 chatbot.py. Ah, this is not gonna work because I haven't defined my OpenAI uh, environment variable yet. So what we're going to do is um, within the directory, please create a .env file. And within here, uh, please uh, put in your OpenAI API key as so. So your secret key is gonna be um, embedded in here. So once we've saved the environment variable, um, please copy and paste this code .env so that it loads the environment variables in the .env file. And then it, uh, it makes sure that the Python file is using uh, your OpenAI key. So I'm gonna save it again and then rerun it. And then it's immediately being executed uh, where you can see that it entered a new LLM chain. And then the system is a prompt that you've uh, created here. Uh, so you're a nice chatbot having a conversation with a human and the human asked hi. Now, right now we can't see the results. So I'm also going to print the result of the conversation. Um, so to see like how the agent responded. So save this and then let's try rerunning it. And you can see that um, the agent responded with, hello, how can I assist you today? All right, so this is, that was it. That's the backend logic of how the chatbot is working. And then now we're going to use Streamlit to, um, to uh, create the user interface and the front end side of this chatbot. So right now I'm using um, the Streamlit's documentation of building a, a conversational app, uh, which is like a ChatGPT-like clone. I'm going to uh, copy, uh, I'm going to provide the link of this documentation below as well. So try playing around with it. Um, there's other codes as well, but we're gonna go all the way down and use this code that they provided, which is this one. So whenever a user um, types the input, imp like a prompt within the input box, uh, it's going to respond and it goes around like what, what it shows is that if you're a user, then there's a user icon about uh, posting uh, what you just asked. And then there's going to be a bot or AI icon where it's, it responds to what you just asked to the LLM agent. So in order to do this, we're going to be using this code block. So let's just uh, import this first. We're going to import Streamlit. And then we're going to name the website title as uh, ChatGPT Light Clone. You can just name it whatever you want. This is going to be the main headline. And then let's copy and paste this entire code block here. And paste it here. All right, so what it's doing here is it's using a OpenAI model GPT 3.5, and it's also saving all the uh, chat history that the user had with the LLM agent in the session state. So we first defined a session state dot messages as a blink because there's no messages yet, but anytime there is a message, um, uh, it's gonna append and show the uh, message content. Uh, based on based on the role of the user. So if the role is the user, then it's just, it's just going to show um, 
it's just going to copy and paste whatever the user wrote in the user input box. Um, but for if the user role, if the role is the assistant, then we're going to be utilizing this backend to actually execute the LLM agent so that it uh, runs through OpenAI based on the user uh, input, input and then and then prints the output of whatever result that was generated by the LLM agent. So that was this code. Um, right now, right now this code is perfectly fine because uh, whatever the user says is going to be printed above. But we want to replace this part because um, we want to replace it with the LLM agent that we just built. So please delete it and then. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, copy and paste this part and put it here. Now we want to make sure that the tabs are defined well. So please fix that. And then, and then instead of hi, we want to run the LLM agent with the user prompt that they've typed in um, this this input box here so we're going to replace this with prompt because this prompt variable is the prompt that the user um, wrote down in the input box now this prompt variable is right now overlapping with the custom prompt that uh, we've created for the llm agent so i'm just going to change the name of the prompt variable which is going to be custom prompt and then i'm going to change it here as well all right so that worked. And then in order to show uh, what we want to do is we want to sort of like streamline the responses and show the output uh, as it's being generated instead of like after all the uh, all the results have been generated. So what I mean by that is, for example, if I write hello, um, right now the response is like being shown up um, chunk by chunk. Uh, immediately as it's being generated like so. So in order to do this, we're going to have to split the results text into like words and then show it each time that chunk is uh, being created. So in order to do that, I'm going to write a for loop for chunk in result text dot split. I'm going to append each chunk to the full response variable. Uh, that I initialized here. And then I'm going to add a space bar uh, like so. And then another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do time sleep 0.5 because I sort of want to uh, make it an effect to show that it's sort of loading. So right now there's an error because I haven't imported time. So here I'm going to import time here. And then this bar is, uh, is uh, it's also like another just front end thing where uh, it shows that the conversation result is being loaded. So that's that. And then I'm going to uh, erase this part. And yeah, let's see if this code is going to be working. So save it. And then um, in order to run any streamlet files in the terminal, you're going to write streamlets run chatbot.py and a new window is going to be popped up um, to show the chatbot user interface. All right, so a new window popped up uh, exactly like ChatGPT. The user input is here. So let's just test it out if it's working. Let's put in hi and the LLM chain has been executed and the results are being shown up immediately as well. So that was the first version of ChatGPT, which was um, having a casual, casual conversation with the LLM agent. The next version that we're going to make is a more uh, nuanced one where you can, uh, uh, you can make a chatbot that can answer any questions about a specific document that you've uploaded. So if you're interested about building the second version, please move on to the next video. And if you liked this video, please press like and subscribe for my YouTube channel. And again, thank you for watching this entire video. Thanks.